Hi, it's Philly Phil. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Jai Davis, and uh, I'm from St. Louis, and uh, I just wanted to let you know about Wally, because, uh, like, honestly, I was kind of lost. You filled me in on a lot of things that... Uh, I was lost about. Okay, sir, you don't rem uh, uh, you don't mind this call being recorded, right? I don't mind it being recorded, but uh, like everybody in St. Louis knows me. Like Tim might know me. I don't know Tim, but Tim might know me. You know, like I I know Nelly and all of them. Now, I'm from the South Side. Okay. So in 2002, the cops killed my brother. Me and my brother was in a rap group called Pieces and Pieces, and we used to tour with the Lunatics before they, before Nelly got signed. So, what I want to, I mean, like I said, I've been watching the show, and a lot of people was put, now Wally can't talk, I got Wally number, I call Wally right now, but he got this case going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm doing for Wally what I would want Wally to do for me. Okay. Like, Wally's a great friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I noticed that I, I don't know any of them other ones. I just know Wally. And um, Wally, I, I really feel like Wally, now he didn't ask me to call you or anything like that. I don't know what he knows about this. Like, I'm I'm just like watching this back to back and I'm like, my, fuck, my, my jaw just dropped. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, but um, I just want to talk to you about Wally. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Um, Wally, okay, I'm 46 years old. Like I, you know, I, like I said, I did the music thing, and we all know how the music industry is. Well, when I was in Atlanta uh, with Cameron Gibb, I don't know if you heard of Goody Mob. Mm-hmm. I know you heard of Pep C. Yes. But when I was in Atlanta, I was over Pimp C house, right? Mm-hmm. And Pimp C looked at me and my brother, and I, this was before my brother died, so this is like late 90s. He looked me in my eyes. Like, I went over his house. He had the pool table right there. I went to the studio room on the record. He looked me in my eyes and told me and my brother never to sign a contract, right? Mm -hmm. Never to sign a, a rap contract. So I, I still do music. You can look me up. I'm all over the internet. But I'm post social media. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, <sighs> man, it's just like, it's, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm post social media, so I didn't really care too much about being an entertainer. I just love music. Now, my grandfather was a backup uh, guitar player for the uh, for Ike and Tina Turner also. Really? What was his name? Yeah. His name is George Davis. Okay. He's, he's deceased right now. Okay. He was in a group called the El Troy Rose. He's from Detroit. Okay. And, and my my father started doing music. So we started doing music after my father. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it's in our family. Like, my parents are from Thuridagos, too. They met in the Dagos. I don't know if you know about the Dagos. I've only heard about them since all this started. Okay, so my friends are from the Crude Island. I'm deep rooted in St. Louis. Everybody in St. Louis knows me. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they know. Well, know well, okay. Me. Well, can you tell me, as far as Wally, then, you know him so well. Okay. Why would he do okay. this? <laughs> okay. I think he got caught up. I think, you know, I'm not trying to, like I said, he didn't tell me to call you. Like, I'm thinking from my own mind. You know, like, you, you start getting famous, and you start getting all this money and everything, and then it slows down, you know what I mean? So you got to get a job, you know what I mean? Right. You have to provide for your family. So he picked up, not only him, other, a few other guys picked up on this, because uh, he was trying to get another one of my partners to do, to uh, work for him, you know what I mean? Insurance, and, you mean insurance sales? Yeah, yeah. Poli policies yeah, on like, okay it's just like insurance policy I, I heard you said you did it too right so take it go and sit down so he just he just he just had it as a job now his, his father used to have a candy store in our neighborhood uh penny saver that's how i know of wally you know what i mean mm -hmm. i don't know what wally do, do 
Let me say this real quick. Do you understand that if Wally had a tip the FBI off that Tim was having him to lie and try to get the this could have saved Andre's life? I, I, I know this. And, 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 I, and I see this. Like I said, like uh, Andre, I feel sorry for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my condolences to his family and everything. You know what I mean? That's Tim. Like, that's, that's that corny dude, you know? That's, that's, that's my Tim's uh, watch. You know what I'm saying? Now, okay, back to Wally. A man's got caught up in it. You know what I mean? He, okay, when we have a job, okay, especially in St. Louis, everybody in St. Louis is trying to get over, okay? I don't know if you know anything about St. Louis, but, like, you have to survive in St. Louis. Okay? So, if, when you have a job, Wally's only job was to get him to sign that contract and make his money from that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was his only job. And he, he, I see, I've been reading the things, and I see he went, you know, cops are crooked. Everybody's, when it comes to you uh, uh, completing your task, I'm not saying that I agree with it, but he didn't, I, I'm telling you, he didn't know that Tim was going to go through with that. Well, he, but he had Tim on the phone pretending to be Andre. He knew he was lying. They, they, they created, the they created all types of salaries for Andre from a hundred thousand to sixty-eight thousand to uh, twenty-eight thousand. He, he, false uh, medical records. What I'm trying to say is, like, Wally was he messed up. And thing is, how many yeah. more? How many more of these does has he done? I don't think it was his first. I don't, I mean, I don't mean, I, like honestly, around that time, I remember having a conversation with Wally mm -hmm. at um, the blank space. Because I'm on the timeline, I'm looking at the timeline, and I'm like, Man, that's the time. That's around the same time. The blank space in the back room, on, and we were talking about priority. And record labels, uh, priority was closing around the time they, they did the uh, training day sign track contract. And he was telling us about all this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, Tim, this is around the same time period. But at the same time, I'm like, he could, man, I'm, I'm telling you, man, if you do Raleigh, like, that's not even his character. Sometimes you can know a person and not really know them at all. I understand that, but like, like did you did you like, read his plea, sir? Did, did you, you know did you I mean? okay? Did you read his plea? He pled guilty. He said he did all of that. Yeah, he, because he had to. Like, he know he. he you gotta recognize when you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he that. I'm not speaking for him. I'm speaking the person that I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The person that I know is not no killer, or he didn't have nothing to do with no no nobody coming from out of town. None of that. That's the Wally that I know. The only thing that I question is Tim told him in a text he's not going to be around much longer. Wally should have thought about that. He should have. I mean, what do you mean he's not? What are you going to do to him? Wally could have tipped off the feds. I understand that too. You know what I mean? And it, it was too late. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too late when Tim texted him that he still had a chance to help save Andre. And that's what, that's what he should be guilty for. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, like, you know how, like, I'm saying, man, like, like I, we, we don't, we, we text each other, but I don't talk about the case during the text with him. But, like, Man, I talked to Wally the other day. Well, how is he feeling? What does he think? Does he think he's going to get 20 years? What is he, what's his state of mind right now? Man, he, he, he's trying to be in good spirits. He's trying to be in good spirits. That's all I can say. Okay. He's trying to be in good spirits. And the damage done, he, I'm not saying he's right. Because like I said, I didn't even know nothing about the text message, the temp. You know, I found that out from you. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, and, yeah, and my dog dropped. You know what I mean? And me and my partner, 
you know, while it's real, we look, we like, damn, like, are you serious? Mm -hmm. Like, we like you on, on, on that part. We just like you, but I'm trying to say. You're trying to say you're shocked. That was your friend. You were close. You I'm just didn't shocked. know he. You didn't know he had it in him. You didn't know he could do such a thing, right? Exactly. I'm saying that, but at the same time, I'm saying like, like, and, 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 and I'm kind of like, I don't want to like degrade. You know what I'm saying? Make no situation worse. Like, so I don't want you to really like. I don't want you to call me, but I don't. I don't well sir it's already now you already said it in the beginning now this is our the people this is what people want to hear i i, I know what i'm saying is like well what i'm trying i'm not trying to clear nothing up but i'm saying like dude made a mistake man okay like, like, and, he, he made a mistake on his behalf Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and like I said, if 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 if, if, so if I was in a situation, and that's the only reason I reached out to you, because I would want somebody. If I was in a situation, I would want somebody to, to right. You'd want somebody when when you're not around. You want them to protect your name and and stand up for you. Okay. Exactly. Now, it's on. Mm -hmm. what I'm gonna say is gonna make you feel better. I I, I blame Tim for everything. Okay, the only thing I just, I wish, why? Hello? Okay, sir, so now you say that, you were saying that you and your wife, the phone stopped recording, sorry about that. Watch you know these saying, like, movies we, about insurance. Now, what I want to say real quick, money is the root of all evil, and I don't want anyone having a million dollar policy on me. It's, it, it because you never know when, what's on a person's mind. <laughs> exactly, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's like, it's like, but to, uh, I, I know that nobody from, like, like I said, my brother got killed by the police in 2002. Wasn't no Black Lives Matter, no nothing. I, my mom, I just got off the phone with her earlier. Like, my mom is still suffering from that, so I know the family is suffering. And I don't, and I, and I know that the family would probably be like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But at the same time, man, like, I, like I said, I know him personally, and. That's not the Wally that I know. Right. And, you know, hopefully it. Hopefully, this was the only time he ever did this much to get a policy. Because as you, if you saw my show, they went to numerous insurance carriers lying and, and creating false documents, trying to get this policy on Andre. I hope that was the only person Wally has ever done that to. Do you believe there's more? Nah, there's, okay. there can't be more. Man. I, I don't even, like, I can't even see this. Like, and, and, you know... Well, sir, he did do this, like this one. There's proof, okay? No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, I'm saying... I know. I mean, <laughs> especially after, like, watching... I mean, you wouldn't be doing this if, if it was on some BS. So... I'm reading from federal like documents. Said, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I know that it's real. You know what I mean? Right, but it's but surreal. Saying, like, mm -hmm. when, I, when, I, when I see this picture of Wally up there, and I'm like, damn, I'm like... You know what I'm saying? It's just like... There's a thin line between truth and lies and, you know, everyone is just an inch away from getting themselves caught up. And, I, you know, I really can tell that you are really a good friend of his and you're really... It, it, uh, it's upsetting to you and I hate that for you. I mean, but people have to make better choices. You know? No, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not you know, trying to, like, defend him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he made a decision, and it's court documented, and, you know, they got a trial going on and all of that. Cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, I just, I just wanted to call you and let you know that, like. That's not the Wally you know, and you've never known. That's not the Wally known. that I know, okay. man. And. Like. And you you you're still talking to him to this day. You guys are still good friends. Yeah, and, like, oh, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like, You've like, never like, asked him about this, like I, why or I anything. Know, because I'm smarter than that. I know that you know like, this phone can be recorded. You know what I'm saying? Like I know that. Oh yeah, I see what you're why saying. Why would I talk to him about his case? It can anything can incriminate him or anything. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, true. Like. Like, trust me, I want to. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, like, when we talk, it's normally about music or, like, you know what I mean? I, I'm giving him, like, strength and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, yeah, I don't know if I'll see him again. Well, you, know what I mean? you never know. But, like, he did Everybody go ahead and plea. Really? He just like we got a community. Like 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 before any all of this like I just knew future and all of them when they didn't have no money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we got a community. You know what I'm saying? And everybody in that community knows Wally. And the have same you way that, the same way that I know him. Have you talked to those people? I've talked to Coco, you know what I'm saying? He, I just asked him, like I had a show in St. Louis. I don't live in St. Louis no more since like September, but I ran into a few people when I performed at Blueberry Hill. And um, I was just asking him, you know, how he holding up and everything. And he's like, he's holding up good. Like, you know what I mean? Well, that's good. Like, you know, but I, I'm telling you, my man's not no killer. He, he, I, he, I, 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 I believe and I trust me I know he feel like messed up that he's caught up in this but like he had a job you know what I mean mm-hmm. and he, it was just money man like you know what I'm saying like it ain't like he was making money to kill nobody you know what I mean he was doing his job as a you know to get paid like when you do what you do you get paid for the mm-hmm. uh, insurance policies right well, when I was when, when I was doing it but you one thing you do there's ethics in insurance you know, as a licensed insurance agent, it's like you don't sell a maternity policy for pregnancy to a 90-year-old woman. She doesn't need it. You don't make up right. false documents and create salaries for people to try to get them insured. And I understand that's the right thing to do, but I swear and I promise you, like, he's not the... Other people are doing this, too. But, but sir... But, but, sir... When, 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 huh? I was just going to say, I know, but... Unfortunately, he got like, caught up with so a the, horrific person, Tim. I know. That's what I'm going to say. He got caught up with Tim. And I, and I don't I only know what you told me about, but well, you know, not what you told me, but what I've seen on TV about Tim. And I feel like he manipulated the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, I just hate to see that Wally caught up in that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, um, but even if Tim, br- say, e- but even if Tim brought it to him, Wally knew that he Andre, shut it down. right? I, Andre didn't know about yes. Down. Andre didn't I'm know about aware. them. Poly- yes. You know I mean? like okay. Like okay. I'm very aware. All right. He should have shut it down. But um, well, I'm yeah, sorry man, that your like, friend is caught up in this mess. But if he had just, and I know hindsight, but he he should he should have tipped off the feds. When Tim made that text statement, he's not going to be around much longer. He should have let the people know. Yeah, it's a sad, it's a very sad situation. Like I said, I hate to see my man like caught up in it. You know, but, Andre um, Andre was twenty. Andre was uh, Andre was twenty one, a promising career as a rapper. Exactly. He had talent. Exactly. His grandfather also worked with Ike Turner. He had talent. Exactly. Look at his grandmother. He could have been. You never know. He could have been touring with the Lunatics or somebody. You know. Exactly. You know what I mean. And and it's a, it's a it's a messed up situation. But I just don't want you know people looking at like 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 my man's is a killer or something like nah he, right it, it's a mistake he, it's a mistake if he, he don't i mean he don't have any prior mistakes like that like you know what i'm saying so like you know and 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 you know him to him going ahead and cooperating and probably being one of the first to cooperate i'm thinking my opinion is that wally may have tipped these people it, you know, when it was all said and done. I don't know that for sure. That's just my commentary. But you mm. never know how the judge, what they'll, you know, what kind of sentence he'll get, if that makes you feel any better. I just feel like it's a, whatever they call it, a white-collar crime or whatever. It is, partially. You know what but I mean? there's a there's a homicide involved in that that he helped create in a way. It's it, like, but he I'm saying, he like, provided the he, motive. He, 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 yeah, but he didn't, like, you know, I, man, I really doubt 
that he had anything to do with the other side of the game. Yeah, well, he wasn't. Well, the other two people, Loco, Travell Loco and Terrica, they didn't mention Wallace's name. It was like they were the two that really did the setting up and the to getting to Andre. Wally handled just the insurance part. So that that is one thing in his favor. Exactly, and it's like after he did that, dude came up with the other side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, like that, and 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 hopefully, you know, that's what. That's how it get handled, you know what I mean? But at the same time, man, I just, you know, of course I feel, I feel bad for Wally. You know, I mean, I, I feel fucking horrible for Andre. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And everything on that side, like that, that, I'm not, don't, don't think I'm condoning none of that. I'm just saying, like, like damn Wally. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I understand like, what you're but, saying. But and I'm sure the caller, uh, look, I'm sure the listeners are going to understand, but they're also going to say Wally knew what he was doing, and they, they're they not going to have sympathy for him, you know? I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not sympathy. It's just like what I'm saying, like, you know, of course they everybody going to look at it a certain way. Man, people going to look at you a certain way even if you don't ask, you know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, I can't judge it. But at the same time, I'm saying, like, my man made a mistake, and that's that, you know what I'm saying, on, on his behalf, but he is not no bad person. And let me tell you this, everyone deserves a second chance. Tim was given a second chance after what he did after spending ten and a half years in prison, okay? So Wally will get him a second chance, and hopefully he will have learned from his mistakes, okay? I'm looking at it that way, you know what I'm saying? But I don't even want to speak on Tim, because, like, I, man, that's, that's, that's a whole nother goofy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he a whole nother... Like, what do you, 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 yeah, what do you think of a man who puts a hit out on his own nephew? I mean, I think he below dirt, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 to, to do that to your own family, just to do that any, in general, you know what Period. I'm saying? But like, right. like when you're standing next to somebody like that, it kind of like works you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it makes you look bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not with that on no, you know what I'm saying? I'm, with, I'm not with, I can't even speak on him because I don't even want to say the bad, say any, you know. One day you need like to I find said, out from your friend Wally how did he even meet up with Tim, you know? Well, the thing about it is, okay, that's what I was gonna tell you. Like I bounced at this place called the Gramophone, right across the street from Sweetie Pies. So we saw all the cameras and everything. Tim used to come over there. You know, he wanted to be a rapper without bars. But, like, uh, you know, he was he had the fame, but he didn't have the skills. You know what I'm saying? So he would cross the street. Everybody across the street had the skills. You know what I'm saying? So he, he stuck his nose up in there. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm telling you, that's how he met Wally, through the scene. Okay. When you say without bars, what do you mean? Without bars? I mean, he ain't had no skills. Oh, okay. Like, you know, like, like, people that said the gramophone? Mm-hmm. They had skills. You like, mean they rapping skills? Okay. Yeah, like, they, they were actually good. They they know how to hold a microphone. They know how to spit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Tim, Tim wasn't built from that cloth. You, better you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody across the street from Sweetie Pies was actually doing something, mm -hmm. you know, at the gramophone. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so he probably came over there, met some producers. You know, Wally's a producer. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with Basement and um, real, 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 real producers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he went over there and linked up with him, and then, I, man, I just wish he would have never, I wish they would have never met, but, you know, it is what it is, man. You got to put it in God's hands. Right. But I just wanted to talk to you and let well, you know that. You know thank you. Thank I'm you. everybody, you know. Right. He made a mistake, man. Yeah. And hopefully I'm he has man, learned from no it. Killer. Okay. Huh? I said hopefully he has learned from it. You know, a lot of people speculated that Tim's nephew, you know, Andre, could rap. He did a lot. He he was an aspiring rapper. And I think he yeah, had... Uh, yes, I think he had what you call bars and skills, and he could spit. And Tim yeah, knew that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he was young, so he was still developing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, like, dude cut it. He's he done his birth, his growth. You mm, know what I'm mm, saying? Mm. Like, 
he stunned his growth. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. Like, you know, in St. Louis, I'm telling you, people be wishing they you. Like, I remember when Nelly blew up. Everybody was, everybody wanted to be Nelly. The whole world wanted to be Nelly. Even, like, in New York, the dip set and all of them. You know, Nelly took over by storm. So everybody mm-hmm. got mad at Nelly. I watched it happen to Nelly. People was jealous of that dude. Well, I personally like Murphy Lee myself, but anyway. No, Murph is, Murph, Murph is the realest. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I know them all. You know what I'm saying? Murphy Lee, T1. Them, them some real cats. They some real life cats. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, like, dude wanted to be them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you seen them on there with the Migos, man. Come on, man. <laughs> he, 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 honestly, just like y'all was saying on the thing, like, he was jealous of dude, man. And yep. anybody that watched any movie and from the outside looking in could tell dude was jealous of dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he killed his nephew. He sure did. You know did. what I'm saying? But my man Wally's ain't have nothing to do with that. I'm telling you. Like, he he didn't even know dude. He, he probably just said, when you're filling out forms, it's like I fill out my high nine. You know, you just, sometimes you just, you know, you feel it. But, like, like you said, the conversation and how they did that, I don't know nothing about none of that, but. Man, I well, just pray for my dude. Well, that's all you can do. Pray for him. Wally. Yeah, you just pray for him and hopefully, and you know that he's learned from this, and he won't. You know, he'll be given a second chance because Tim was given a second chance. You know, although a life was taken, he hasn't. You know, he was involved with the paperwork part of it. The, the, they did not charge him with that, so evidently they don't think he had anything to do with that part. So that's a good right. thing for him. But well, let the me... old school ladies that, that, that that's on your show, mm-hmm. they on point. <laughs> oh, they yeah. They on point. They on point with the Prudagos, like, all of that. They on point. Auntie Miss Loretta, know, mm-hmm. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm born and raised, I was born in city number one. I'm born and raised in St. Louis. I know the whole history. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And what's your, so, rap, like, what, what's your rap name? What do you go by? My rap name is my government name. Oh, which is? It's J.I.A. Davis. Okay, okay. Well, do you have a YouTube channel with your music on it? Or I mean, I mean, you can find me all around. Like I said, I'm post po- post. Uh, okay, J I Social media. Okay. I got a Facebook page, but um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm my label is Jim's Pool Room, not signed. We independent, but um, and I do it for the love. Don't, I've always been doing well, music. Like you know, pimp, but, like pimp told you, don't sign a contract. Okay. Man, he, uh, he told me that in his house, but. Here you go. You know what I'm saying? Like I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk to you, let you know that um, my man's is a real stand-up dude, man. Like I, he made a mistake, a major mistake, whatever. Well, you know what I'm saying? But like, if you watch my show, you know there's a song I play at the beginning of every Andre's, you know, live. Everybody ain't mm-hmm. your friend by Mo Three. Well, I want to say yeah. that you, you are, you, you are Wally's friend. Everybody ain't your friend, but you're his, you're Wally's friend. And when he's not around, you're gonna protect his name, which is what you're doing. And I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, uh, I appreciate you. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Call back anytime. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye bye. Long, long time, long time, I need, but I know. Everybody ain't your friend, everybody ain't your partner I say I got you, I got you, well just hold it down and keep it solid And when you're not around, I protect your name, I won't talk about you Everybody ain't your friend